With a hill sacs fracture, which aspect of the humeral head is injured? Okay, let's explain this process by using a little bit of art. I'm gonna give you a top-down view here. First, let's look at the glenoid rim, and then we're gonna look at the humerus. Now, using this model, we're gonna think about this as the left shoulder. Okay, so this right here is going to be the anterior aspect and below we have the posterior aspect. So in an anterior shoulder dislocation, we have that forward translation of the humeral head as well as external rotation. So you can see here that this causes the anterior glenoid rim to make contact with that posterior aspect of the humerus. So let's use another little picture here to show that when we go into that forward translation and external rotation, it results in a fracture of the posterior aspect of the humerus, also known as a hill sacs fracture. 